All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So solar mining, have you considered solar mining? Well, it may pay off. We have an individual ETH miner hits jackpot with a 540,000 block reward. $540,000 block reward. An individual miner defied the odds and managed to collect 168 ETH from a solar mining pool this week worth 42 times the average block reward. This is pretty impressive because I've always wondered about solar mining. I dabbled a little bit, but I never hit on anything. So I just went back to the mining pools where I could, you know, be assured I get something, right? So an individual each miner struck it big by mining a block on their own and receiving reward value at, at 540k. They were operating uh, through two miners, which I use. There's a two miners ETH solo pool you can set up real easy to do. Just use your T-Rex miner and point to it. Um, I would not solo mine unless you have at least one giga hash. <clears throat> unless you have at least one giga hash on your rigs. Because um, I don't think you're going to hit on anything under that. I don't know. Just my, just my experience. So they were operating through two miners, sold a pole on Monday when they mined an entire block and received 168 ETH. That reward vastly outstrips the per block average reward of about 4 ETH, according to BitInfo charts. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of sites out there. BitInfo charts, Coin360, all these sites. Anyway. Let's see, adding to the remarkable nature of the reward is the size and hash power of the solo pool. It is relatively small with 854 miners online. I like two miners. I don't. I, I did the solo thing for a day. I was just playing around to see if I could set it up on T-Rex. It's really easy uh, just to do it and kick it off. No big deal, but you just got to hope you hit and have enough hash power to, to uh, maybe score a block. I don't know. Uh, they have 854 miners online. Uh, 1.5 terahashes per second at the time of writing, meaning that the average miner contributes, contributes here it is, 1.85 gigahashes per second. The lucky mine, miner currently contributes 2.25 gigahash, which could be generated with 1 to 20 of the latest GPU devices. So they were contributing 2.25. So they had pretty substantial rigs, so probably two decent rigs out there working on two miners and of course hash power oh boy i can't read today hash power is the amount of computer processing power a device contributes to a proof of work blockchain like ethereum and bitcoin more hash power helps secure the network by processing transaction and mining blocks all right the lucky jackpot on ethereum network marks the third time in two weeks that an individual crypto miner has hit the big time. It's almost like playing a lottery. But uh, yeah, I think if you're going to do it, have at least one giga hash thrown at it. I don't know. You could throw less, but would you be wasting that resource when you could be mining another two miner pool that isn't a solo mining thing? I don't know. I don't know. I think with Ethereum going away, I'd rather just stay on a sure thing and stick with the pools for now instead of waiting to hit a big block which may actually add up to the amount of uh, crypto I could have accumulated just staying on a pool. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I knew. Anyway, so the guy, another guy hit. Each miner had 1,400,000 uh, 1, chance of mining an entire block, and the chances of two tiny miners managing the same feat in the same week have been estimated at 1 in 1 billion. So it's possible. <laughs> it's like asking a pretty girl out. So I have a chance. <laughs> Oh boy. So average daily theory mining profitability has been on a decline since it spiked to an all time high of 28 cents on May 12th, 2021. I did not start mining until September, October. So I missed it. Average profitability is now about, yeah, look at that. 0 0.04 cents. According to the old bid info charts, this is partly due to the Ethereum Improvement Proposal 1559 or Order 66, whatever, which burns fees instead of distributing them to miners. Okay. A 
jackpot re re oh boy, a jackpot reward like the one earlier this week, baby, can sign to the past when the Ethereum network completes the merge. The merge. Uh, preferring to move it to uh, move from uh, mining proof of work to proof of stake, POS. With POS, network stability is maintained by staking tokens. This will reduce the electrical resources requirements of the network. So POS, okay, they're going for the environmental friendly, don't use as much power, proof of stake, and go with that. I get it. But then you're going to lose all your support Ethereum because once the miners leave and all that stuff, no one's going to give a crap about you. I think Ethereum will probably tank. So if you're holding Ethereum and they go to proof of stake, set a stop loss or just dump it because I, I really think it's just going to tank. Mainly because they have high fees yet. They're going to keep the high fees out there. So you got to worry about that. I don't know. Just my thoughts. So there you go. We have an ETH solar miner with uh, pushing out. According to this article, looks like 2 giga hash contributing 2.25 giga hash to the two miners pool, which it look over here. Here's mine. This isn't the solo one. But if we, uh, let's see, this is what two miners looks like. I just have three little rigs on two miners right now. I like two miners because I'm sick of the uh, Ethereum fees. So I'm mining Ethereum ETH hash, but going to get paid out in Bitcoin. If you look up here at their top tagline, Ethereum miners could now get payouts in BTC and Nano with no fees and no delays. Because if I go to Ethermine, I have my GUI, GUI, whatever my gas fees set at 50 and it's currently probably at 250 right now. It's ridiculous. So will I ever get my payout? I don't know. But if I don't get the payout, it's not a transaction. So, oh well. So Ethermine becomes one of the largest wallets on the internet because everyone has their Ethereum there that they mined. And they just can't get it out because the payout's too high. All right. Here you go. A little story about almost like hitting the lottery. Hitting the lottery while mining. So it's possible. But... Have at least a giga hash to throw at it, maybe. Unless you know better, let me know. All right, what do you think? Pretty cool stuff. Kind of a motivator in a way that, hey, you can actually score big. Or do you stay the tried and true course until POS hits Ethereum and just keep mining one of these pools like two miners or the Ether mine? Yeah, I don't know. All right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out.